somebody had asked earlier about the northwestern part of Oak Avenue and uh, this is what it looks like on the south side and on the northern side on the western side it's all dry Still, you had asked about 77th off of Palm uh, towards the beach and this is where we're at right now um, gusty you know obviously still raining pretty good I mean it's 1030 and it's it's still storming here I'm not sure exactly where your friend is if I had an address I'd gladly check in on him but it's not flooded at all so uh, if he's indoors then he should be perfectly fine there's a gentleman some people are out on the beach I don't want to get wet today so Manatee County is just doing an incredible job with uh, sewage getting it pumped into these trucks as off of the island. Really, these guys are commendable. They've done about 50 loads overnight to keep the water levels going down. So Manatee County has about four of these trucks. Right now, they're using about three of them here on Anna Maria. And I was just told by the county that so far, they have run at least 50 of these full of sewage off of the island to further enhance capacity and help waters recede they're doing such a great job wow all night they've been running these manatee county has about four of these trucks they've run all throughout the night three of them taking about at least 50 loads of sewage off of the island so to help the pumps keep up just doing a great job wow well driving south we're less than an hour away from high tide but uh, you could tell the conditions it's raining pretty good still that doesn't help but um, and it's it's windy so uh, we just need to get through this high tide and this afternoon hopefully the waters will continue to recede we do not need them to go up that's the last thing at this point going south on Golf Drive coming up to Bradenton Beach there's the beach the 
water's still pretty rough lots of waves and just not not the time even to try and catch a wave some surfer said they were intending to but it's dangerous conditions Continuing down towards Cortez. Faithful Publix. You can always rely on them to have groceries in the store. That's for sure. There you can see the dune. Lots of palm branches down everywhere. Par for the course, right? This is the Beach House Resort. The Coconut Hut. Passing Cortez Road. Coming towards Bridge Street. The beach house, the wind is howling over here, coming up to the Moose Lodge, but everywhere it seems to be business as usual. Bridge Street Bazaar is open. You can get a cappuccino over there. Yeah, looks somewhat sleepy this morning, but uh, the mailman's out delivering and uh, people are ready for uh, lunch and dinner. Here at the Bridge Tender Inn, some cleanup, all the seaweeds and stuff that washed from the bay onto the land here. So that's towards Sarasota and uh, this is not going to recede quickly. There's some seaweed, it's high water mark. But yeah, pretty much the bay is straight uh, up into the road here, into uh, and over the edge. Lots of debris there. But you cannot tell the distinction of where the bay begins unless it was for the mangroves here it's all flooded but you could tell how high the water has come up it was way higher than what it even is now having receded some well it clearly is a red flag day So this is Cortez Beach. Kikina is that way. We'll get there. Just to give you an idea of the gusts, but especially the waves. The waters come way up. Very powerful.
crazy. Really, I can't believe they're doing this. So the Kakina Beach parking lot is underwater as far as the eye can see. This is all completely underwater. It's high tide right now in the bay. Some uh, boats are kind of sheltered here, some yachts. But the waters are high and there's debris everywhere. There's a life jacket in the mangroves and those look like parts of a sailboat or something, right? Yeah, seats on a sailboat. Seats, wow. Sunk. Crazy. There was the harness. Wow. Oh, no, that was 